Energy retrofit simplified. An energy retrofit or renovation includes upgrading energy systems or processes to reduce energy consumption and improve efficiency levels. Retrofitting existing buildings may include replacing or upgrading ventilation systems, heating, cooling, adding insulation, or implementing building management systems. Why you should consider retrofitting your building? Lower your energy bill, reduce your maintenance requirements, create a more pleasant indoor environment for occupants, increase the value of your building, and reduce your environmental footprint. Minor, major, and deep retrofit. What's the difference? Think of your car. Sometimes it needs a quick tune-up, like an oil change. Other times it needs a major work, a new engine. And sometimes you need to overhaul the entire car. Building retrofits work the same way. Minor retrofits are like quick tune-ups for your building, involving low-cost changes like replacing bulbs or adding sensors, typically reducing your energy use by less than 15%. Major retrofits are like upgrading your car's engine. It includes upgrading heating and cooling systems, enhancing building envelopes, leading to energy savings between 15 and 40%. Deep retrofits are like giving your building a complete makeover, saving more than 40% on energy costs. This involves adding insulation, replacing windows, and overhauling cooling and ventilation systems. 500 years, that's how long it will take to decarbonize our buildings at the current pace. Buildings are responsible for around 40% of the global emission. To achieve net zero targets, we need to retrofit our buildings. Not just any retrofits, but deep retrofits that go beyond the basics. The International Energy Agency reports that the current retrofitting rates are just 1% annually, mostly shallow retrofit. To meet our climate goals, this rate needs to double by 2030. At least 2% of our buildings must be retrofitted every year. But what's the challenge? Deep retrofits are complex, require a 50% reduction in energy consumption. Factors like building's age, condition, type, envelope, and mechanical and electrical systems all play a role. It's a big task, but a very crucial one. Think of your building as a turtle. Just as a turtle relies on its shell for protection, your building depends on its envelope. This envelope includes windows, doors, walls, the roof, and the foundation. This envelope is key in making your building more efficient. To improve your building envelope, you can consider upgrading insulation, sealing gaps, and installing high-performance windows. These upgrades are often complex, but necessary. I spoke with Mustafa Andi, the CCO at IBIC Energy, about the potential saving from upgrading building envelopes. And he said, The International Energy Agency recently released a report titled Net Zero by 2050. In this report, it underlines that high-performance building envelopes can reduce the demand for space cooling by 30 to even 50 percent while providing greater resilience during extreme heat events while in our region cooling accounts for 50 to 70 percent of the energy consumption in buildings improvements to the building envelope uh, remain an untapped opportunity 